I always get the first wave. Pretty much, I it brought me to tears, like the wave was so good. That's the biggest drop I've ever taken in my life. And so right there, I told myself I needed to just relax and stay calm, that I'm stronger than this. I want to go to a few pivotal moments that I think stand out for me about Nathan Fletcher's more big wave career. And and one was that, um, that first cloud break swell. I think it was 2010. Was it 2010? The first one that with you, Bruce, Cole, it's super glassy. You got the pink board. I was like two weeks 11. before code. That's what I'm saying. So. so, so, so what, so that was, take it, take us through that swell. I mean, that was, uh, I mean, when I, I well, remember seeing that and just began, oh my God, that is the most, they may be the most perfect ways I've ever seen. Yeah. Well, actually Cole called me up like a year and a half before and he's like, Nathan, did you know that Tabaru is not private anymore? This and that. And I was like, oh, cool. He's like, we got to get on the next swell. Anyways, the swell came, but that was the one like Ian Walsh and uh, Lori Counter went over the falls on. Or remember that swell? Yeah, and yeah. I saw that. Hippo got that wave. And I, and I was like, oh, that the waves looked really good. So I was bummed that I missed it. And so that was the first swell when it was open from being private. Now that next one was on the radar. And so I was like, oh, I'm going, you know. And so I called up Bruce and I was like, man, this is going to, you know, you just don't want the year to end and you miss this swell because he's like i'm not gonna go this and that and i was like well this is the best swell you know best wave drip so we ended up going and i talked him into going and then um what i was thinking in my head was like okay i was like lori counter and those guys got that wave i've been to you know tabrua this and that but if you remember during that the magazine that came out of the black pearl the chopo contest but it was the toe-in footage of John Roseman and Conan Hayes at, at, uh, at Cloud Break. And it was mm. literally 60-foot faces, okay? Yeah. And so in my head, I was, this is a huge swell. I'm like, I don't go anywhere like for one of these huge. And I started thinking, I'm like, those waves at Ori Counter and that got, those were big. But I'm all I could even get way bigger than that, I think. Yeah. And uh, so I packed my 10-2 or whatever. And so I took a couple of six six, a seven six, and a ten two. But then the waves were good, real good. And I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna ride my big board and sit out there and cruise and catch one of these sets because you could just see them. And they're coming in and uh and sure enough, it was just like nothing. I just cruised and waited and just got one of those waves and it came right to me and kicked out. And then um uh, um so <laughs> then uh Bruce had broke all his boards and everything and he was on the boat and you know like pretty much I it brought me to tears like the wave was so good and it was just so amazing the color everything so I was like oh you got to try it you know try this board just go out and get one wave you know and so then he went out and he got a wave on the same board didn't come out of the barrel but he got you know the biggest best backside barrel of his life paddling and so it was just super memorable. And then Cole got that wave too, uh, right before I got mine. And I don't know, it was just insane. It was it was uh, it was unbelievable because nobody had ever even seen the waves like that there. And then afterwards, I asked the guy a couple years later, I'm all, "What's the best you know you've ever?" Seen? And the guy's all, "Oh, that one day, that's the best Tavarua ever gets. You know, just glassy and 20 feet." So. Yeah, I mean that 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 there's those three waves. Your wave that you're standing in on that red board, or just and I don't know whatever it is that pinky red, like with the way that the conditions were, and then Bruce's one where he's holding the rail and it's just there's not a drop of water out of place, and then Cole's one, it's like the wave of the decade, the wave of the century. If yeah. if he I makes mean, that big, thing, that's the big best big wave paddle barrel ever recorded. Yeah, I mean, sure. and he's so, he's like he's like inches away from 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 making that thing, you know. Like, and I mean, look, it's, it's sort of like yeah, tripping over the the you know the goal line, but still that that view and how long he was in there and just paddling into that thing. I mean, it was just that was yeah. Hippo, those photos blew my mind. Also, Hippo got that one too. That was really long. It was an inside one, but it was like oh, he got drained really good. Yes. He was on like a 6'6 six, six or something. Yeah, that was, you know, those were life-changing moments for me. That, that, Like when I caught that wave, I came home and I said, you know what? That was a lifetime achievement award for me. That, like yeah. more than 
you know, like you can go win the double all that, but to catch a wave like that on the color of board, no vest, just, just free surfing. Like it was literally like, I told myself, I'll never, ever catch another ride like that. That was the pinnacle. Of, and then two weeks later I got the double XL <laughs> chopa wave, but it was still, it wasn't anything like the Tavarua ride for, you know, cause you get whipped in, you just get pulled in. It's like, ah, oh, boom, it's over. This is like, you're paddling out, you're sitting, you're waiting, you're going, you're not going. Oh, you're, you know, all these things and you're looking around and it's just the whole play of paddling and then the set coming and then catching it, riding it. So all those things said that was, you know, that Tavarua was the wave of my life and Tahiti was the wave that made my life. 